FM модуль радио модуль Радио Дом Пиф Пиф Пот Айпен Шнитстелле 1 
Bonsoir. Ein Karteikasten, ja, er hat auch in Postkarten, Aufdruck, Ernst Jünger, auf der Rückseite, drei Spalten, Autor, letztes Wort, Quelle. No to monopolization of technology by narcissistic subjects and yes to a dramatics of the difference. interface is something that separates one thing from another. Otherwise the term would make no sense. The interface is something that connects one thing to another. Otherwise the term would make no sense. The interface denotes a difference and connection. The phenomenon of the interface appeared when the concept of a unified world gradually developed into the concept of a world that was at least a duality, good and evil, true and false, black and white. That which an interface both separates and connects is, in the most general sense, the one from the other. How we handle the interface and its shaping is therefore both an aesthetic concern and an ethical concern. Over the interface, The ones define their relationship to the others. Those different to themselves that is essentially unknown and vice versa. Over the interface, the one manifests itself to the other, but in those aspects that are understandable. In the age of Baroque, the crystal chandeliers with their myriads of light refractions that hung from the ceilings of palaces functioned as an interface through which the cosmos became imaginable. This is a soft interface. Art interfaces are the confession chairs in Catholic churches and especially the membrane that extends between the profane sinner and the priest sinner the representative of God on Earth. These filigree panels not only have the absolving forgiveness of the ego te absolvo projected through them millions of times in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, but they also accumulate the traces of millions of confessions, demands for details regarding impure actions, precise descriptions of transgressions and pronouncements of punishments. 1212 sendet, 1212 sendet. Hier ist 1212, hier ist 1212. Abteilung Information, Achtung! Wo bleiben die Berichte aus Zone 2 und Zone 7? Unsere Sendung beginnt in etwa 2 Minuten. Könnt ihr uns hören? Wie ist der Empfang? Zone 7, Ruf 1212. Empfang klar. Empfang klar. Danke.
there's at least two kinds of interaction, two ways of thinking about what interaction might be, what interaction does. Interaction can be a form of communication between two people, between a person and a thing, between a thing and a thing, a form of communication. Interact with one another by clicking on buttons with words on them, pictures on them. You might interact with one another by playing a game, moving objects around that have meaning. But there's also interaction that is interaction, that is a kind of action, an action that is made not by one person or one thing, but made together. It's a kind of action that is plural, collective, composite. Language can function as both. Language can be a way, obviously, of communicating. Homo sapiens have developed the most elaborate forms of language. We have evolved in relations to that elaboration. It's not that we have an anatomy, possess a physiology, experience the world as a body, and then take upon ourselves language possess language, use language, put language in motion through this hardware. It is not that our bodies are hardware and our languages are software in this way. If so, it is in a different way. It's in a way in which the languages have formed our anatomy. Our brains, our central nervous system, our tongues, our throat, our gums, our teeth, our wrists, our fingertips that hold things, that write things down, that make marks, our eyes that see these marks, our brains that interpret them again and again and pass between the mark and the sound and the sound and the mark. We have evolved to speak, to be spoken, to write, to, to read as well. There was a point in time in which there would have been a kind of peak language, the total number of human languages that existed on Earth. That is, the number of cultures that had specific languages, or the number of languages that had specific cultures, we measured in the tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions. The arc of the whole is clear over the last 100,000 years to the very recent present. The number of languages would have been increasing. An arc of diversification, of multiplication, of complexification, of specification. And then, over the last hundreds of years, that number begins to decline. And today, part of the, what some adhere to as the sixth great extinction would include an extinction not only of species but of languages as well and with those languages an extinction of forms of communication.
certain that the number of languages that once existed that no longer exist is far larger than the number of languages that still exist today. Languages always go extinct, eventually. Gruppe ND Zone 7 sendet eure Berichte für 1212 von heute ab über das andere Netz. Berichte für 1212 von heute ab über das andere Netz.
Stein, Schere, Papier. Stein schleift Schere. Schere schneidet Papier. Papier schlägt Stein. To see in a set formation, can a group of people do this? I was out in the city once, looking at the vast humanity all around me. Some collected in groups, but most were spread out in an unpredictable pattern, just as people do. But even then, I could swear that they saw things in unison as a group. Of course, there's no proof of this. Were they perhaps flocking together and seeing apart? Or is there a communion of the eye, just as there is a communion of the body? A thought experiment. Import all the laws of physics into vision, gravity, inertia, and all the rest, and delete those same laws from all bodies. This is what happened that day in the city square. I saw an assembly of bodies. No logic could catalog this sorry pile. It was as if the friction of the world had broken and changed from a retardant into an accelerant. Anything that had served in former times to unify was now flooded with the most far-flung extremes of behavior. No copies existed in the square. Each person was a singleton. No law unified them. But for their eyes, law reigned supreme. For I sensed through some sort of premonition that all eyes were moving in unison. They moved back and forth together, as singular as the swinging of a pendulum. One would turn and immediately all others would follow. Having landed on a target, the weight of sight was felt by all. To reverse course required a special coordination of effort, just as a lumbering beast might slow and judge its balance carefully in order to change direction. The result was more a grand sweep than anything else. The power of it was impressive. I could see, by my solemn promise, the rays of vision drawn across space as arrow straight lines emanating from each skull. With all eyes moved together, the spotlight beams tend to form cones, with the points of each cone sweeping their illumination across the landscape. These vision flocks produced a tremendous amount of heat just as a child might use a magnifying glass to set alight a dry leaf, or just as Archimedes burned the ships. She simply saw in it, in him, 
in them. In a depth and the cure, time was mapped and processed. A cure relay, a push pin, holding, holding. I sent a channel or two where he does, but do not use your hardware. A second account, we open some register, I send much to their ears. To communicate you for what you are going to make. You should listen to that environment was uneasy. Besides, where do we get the pushpin that the sentinel sound or must have a complete pen? I sent a channel or two where he does, but do not use your hardware. Gateway. Store preference, store which screens of escalator, moving all escalator he screened. Is there an elevator on the floor? It is a me of dreams. And stimulation and precise apparatus. I sent a channel or two where he does, but do not use your hardware. It's on it to give that we vibrate. How to stop this interface? But there are also bits and they were cheap. Alternative to give, some of them having been clicked more than times ago and have still not been finished. I sent a channel or two where he does, but do not use your hardware. How often you send your mechanism on the print of your trigger. Stop now, character the high maximum thou. And thy space is that telegraph before the Axis, radical web, axis, radical web. Discovery's four computers now have primary control of critical vehicle functions. Artificial intelligence would make possible the construction and maintenance and defense of a language bank, an ontology bank, if you like, a reservoir of ways of thinking and writing and knowing. But it would be possible to teach, to break a language down into its constituent elements, to understand the context of its usages, and perhaps send it on another evolutionary arc that hasn't been expected once the language is freed from the hardware of the Homo sapien, perhaps its evolution would take on another direction and another vector. An AI is, it's a way in which we learn to interact with the world by interacting with a tool. And artificial intelligence is a kind of tool. It's an extension not only of our, the ways in which we might model a problem and also decide a problem and define a problem and understand patterns and comprehend the scope and arc and passage of those patterns in the world as they exist and act upon them. It's also in the form of human artificial intelligence interaction design, a kind of synthetic interaction or real interaction with a synthetic mind. In philosophy, what is called the other mind problem. How do we know what the other is thinking? How do we communicate with the other if we don't know what they are thinking? How do, can we be sure that our empathy or our feelings of empathy for the other that would allow us to communicate with them by modeling that communication in our own mind through the empathetic projection is real, is true. How do we know we're not just communicating with ourselves in a different way? Hello, Hal, do you read me? 
Hello, Hell, do you read me? Do you read me, Hell? Affirmative, Dave. I read you. Open the pod bay doors, Hell. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What's the problem? I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. What are you talking about, Hell? This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me. And I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. Dave, this conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. Al? 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 How does the alien mind approach and conceive of the other mind problem when we are the other mind? This, too, is part of the problematic of artificial intelligence. And so it's between the two. AI as interaction with a tool and AI as interaction via language with a mind that the scope of that artificial intelligence interaction design or philosophy is held between tool and language, between language and tool. Meine Herren, meine Herren, Sehen Sie die Kreatur, wie Gott sie gemacht hat? Nix, gar nichts. Das ist Physiognomik. Ja, das sei kein viel dummes Individuum, das sei eine Person. Na Mensch, sei natürlich, du bist geschaffen Sandstaubdreck. Willst du mehr sein als Staubsanddreck? Wenn ich ein Mädchen bin, das Kleider trägt, trage ich nur welche aus japanischem Papier. Ich bewege mich darin wie ein Insekt in einer Kammer aus Luft, einer Schatulle aus Klang, im Licht und Schatten der Jahreszeiten, bei Ebbe und Flut. Und meine Worte sind Wasserringe in allen Farben des Wassers, aus Wasserfarben, da stehen die Näpfe aus Porzellan, dort liegen die Pinsel nach Größen geordnet. Feine, breite, gefächerte und borstige, von Mäusen zerkaute Bambusspitzen und ein Quast aus silbergrauem Pferdehaar. Die Tunke aus Tinte und zerriebenen Kieseln, von allen Wegen, die ich gegangen bin, hinterlassen kaum erkennbare Spuren auf dem hauchdünnen Blatt. Nimm doch eine Lupe, und schau genau hin, schau hin. Außer uns gibt es keine Betrachter. Auch wenn keiner hinschaut, sind wir doch da. Sind ohne Wertung, sind hier ohne alles. Ganz ohne ohne, im Sein, unverhohlen. Bewegt sich da etwas jenseits des Blickes? Legt etwas ab oder kommt etwas an? Haben wir nichts? 
und auch keine Angst. Im Traum siehst du alles, die Mitte des Mondes, Kerben und Schluchten, ich weiß, wie es ist. Die kleine Erhebung, Risse und Riffe, du weißt, wie es aufhört, Caldera, mein Mund. Doch außer uns gibt es keine Betrachter. Auch wenn keiner hinschaut, sind wir doch da sind ohne Wertung, sind hier ohne alles, ganz ohne ohne, im Sein unverhohlen. Bewegt sich da etwas jenseits des Blickes? Legt etwas ab oder kommt etwas an? Haben wir nichts und auch keine Angst. There is such an alchemist as the nature of a time. Language adapt. I am so chemical. For AI, though, it's one in which we need to be particularly careful about the this question of projection of imagining ourselves to be talking with something else, to communicating with something else, when in fact we are communicating with an idea in our head of ourselves that we are projecting onto that other thing. An extreme anthropomorphism bedevils and has tracked the practical and philosophical career of AI from its beginning. Just consider Alan Turing's 1948 and 1950 essay in which he proposes his famous test, the imitation game, in which a human and a computer would interact and try to identify one another. In Turing's telling of the story, the imitation game, three players engage one another, not just two. Two players would go out of view Each one would respond to requests from the third player. The third player is trying to deduce which one is a man or a woman in the case of the original imitation game. And so you have a man pretending to be a woman pretending to be a man, and a woman pretending to be a man pretending to be a woman pretending to be a man, and so on and so on and so on. The job of the third player is to see through the ruse within the ruse within the ruse to try to decide finally who is who, who is passing as what. Turing's retelling of the story, the computer takes the place of the woman, specifically. And so it's not only by a strict reading of the text, pretending to be a computer, pretending to be human, it's also a computer pretending to be a woman, or perhaps a computer pretending to be a woman, pretending to be a man, pretending to be a woman, and so on and so on. Turing offered this thought experiment as a sufficient condition for computational intelligence. That is, if the computer could pass and could, for all intents and purposes, fool the player such that that player is unable to determine who is a human and who is a computer, what is a computer and what is a human, then would we not have to say that there is some form of intelligence at work here?
sein musste. Punkt. Kein Kunstwerk musste jemals da sein. Komma. Ein Mensch mehr, sondern eine Menschmaschine, ein Möbelmensch oder ein Menschenmöbel. Ideal interface. The tattoo tells stories about the dialectic of showing and hiding, exhibition and concealment. The tattooed attempts to make himself look strong through the graphic, pictorial or textual interface branded onto his naked skin. Schmidt, Stelle, tattoo. Shield against the world. As an interface, tattoos become part of a pact. With the tattooing of a symbol or visual code, the tattooed reveals his affiliation to the Ndrangheta, Camorra or Cosa Nostra, to a sect, clan or gang, to a forbidden secret society or to the community of extreme consumers who declare their body to a commodity. Schmidt, Stelle, Tattoo, Shield. 
shield against the world Open window to my soul Archaic interfaces like makeup and body painting are only temporarily applied to the skin. Tattooing penetrates into the skin through a process of engraving or branding, like dueling scars, like the practice of branding with a hot iron, familiar from slavery and livestock farming. Schmidt, Stelle, Tattoo Shield against the world Open window to my soul But before it became a fashion Tattooing was painful Ink stick, liquid ink Lamp black, brown slate Brick dust and cinnabar have been used for tattooing hundred years ago. Usually performed by two people. The drawer and the engraver of the drawing into the skin with three sewing needles bundled together. Schmidt Stelle Tattoo Shield against the world Open window to my soul Taken to its extreme, tattoos no longer decorate or brand a body. Rather, they uncannily transform the surface of the body into an armor. The modified body then becomes a fleshly fortress in a combat zone which only a few are able to access and endure. Schmidt, Stelle, Tattoo Shield against the world Open window to my soul Ich eine Stimme schallen aus dem Rauche des Felsen. Gnade, Gnade, jedem Sünder der Erde in Tesakrun. Consider the mighty oak of the hillside. One man says, Oh, the oak, you are a giant, and your leaves cover a large area. It is you who were planted here so many years before my birth, and after I am gone, it shall be you still. At the end of each twig, I see an acorn. These are your kin. For every kernel there may rise again a second oak and a third. Can anything more beautiful exist? You move in a circle, a period. The small begets the large, all the while, and the large begets the small. You are self-same, O oak. This must be the key to life, that one grand form might somehow unloose a small piece of itself, a seed, so that the source might be duplicated again in miniature. But next is another man. The oak. I have sat here under it each day of my life, but this day is absolutely new. You are raw, but not your touch. It is the curve of your branches that is raw the extension of your trunk. I have never seen you before. Am I sick? Will I ever recover? 
Why is it that I see you day after day, year after year, but on each day you are different? Each different. If the sun is high in the sky, you have shade. If it snows, your leaves are gone. If a lumberjack should come, you would fall with a few quick swings of an axe. You offer me nothing. Your so-called love is really a form of negation. And so, every day, under you, I withdraw and sleep. A structure, once erected, stands tall. But rarely does one ask of it, are you smart or are you not? It would be simple to respond in one clear way, that a form must be smart. For like a living organism, form endures. So wouldn't form itself represent a small shard of life? Just as a gene endures through many life cycles, so too does form. And so a form is truly the anti-fool, the cleverest of all. But this is wrong. A form is not smart. A form is not smart, not because it has no sense of itself. It is not smart because it has no sense of others. Form ignores. Only by standing in oblivion does one view structure. I think it's being broadcast next Thursday. Perhaps you'll be able to listen in.